Well, good morning, everyone. It's Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar, and today is Monday, April 12th, and being a Monday, there might be something special in the market. Remember, the fog of war move happens on Monday mornings. Now, let's start the day by looking at the economic calendar on MarketWatch to see if we can get any hint of where the market is going to be affected based on the news of the day. And today, the only thing that's going to that I see is the federal budget announcement at 2 p.m. That's not going to be a market moving uh, item. So let's move on to the CNBC uh, website where we can get uh, just a glance of the news. And uh, in looking down the headlines, the only see thing here that gives a hint of something that might be a market mover is right down here. Fed Chairman Powell says it's highly unlikely the Fed will raise rates this year. Now, that is a very important statement because the Fed has previous, previously said that will hold it will hold interest rates at near zero until 2023. So highly likely is a very nuanced term. So that could ha put a damper on uh, market activity. At any rate, let's get right into it. Today, Monday, April 15th, where will the market go? Well, let's look back to see what happened on Friday on the 9th and the market opened up. I have two lines here uh, at um, 9.30 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. Eastern Time for the trading hours to give you a uh, rear view of what happened on April 9th. Now, the market opened up at 9.30 with stochastics at an overbought position. And typically when stochastics are, are overbought and especially when I don't have anything to really go by, I, I like to stay out of the market. Typically, it would be uh, an indication that the market might reverse, but not so. Now, let me give you some advice. The easiest way to see where the market is going to be heading is at the turns. If we can develop, if we can develop a sense of price direction, it will be where the market is turning around. And the best way to see that is with trends. Of course, some people go by trends trend lines, moving averages, and so so on and so forth. I go by price action and stochastics. So the easiest way to tell where the market may be heading in the near future is to see if we can find out where the turns are. And with the market being overbought, we might expect the turn to be to the, to the downside, but just hold your powder dry on April 9th at 9.30, and we see the market did not in fact turn down. But then again, it didn't really go up very much either. This is a three minute chart of the micro E mini. It's the same as the E mini, of course. And if we kept our powder dry, let's see, there are uh, four points between each horizontal line on this chart. So four points is five, is $20 on the micro E mini, $200 on the E mini. So uh, between 9.30 and let's see, 10 o'clock, the market went up four points. Nothing dramatic here happening, and it was certainly no reason to jump in based on any kinds of indications. So I stayed out, uh, and if you were if you were wise, you stayed out also. I know people have an itchy trigger finger; they like to pull a trigger on a trade. There was no indication, and throughout the day, I didn't see any indication. Look at look at how erratically the uh, the, the market moved, and within a Fairly narrow range, but generally trending to the upside. But and I'll get to this uh, to this afternoon uh, indication. But let's also look at the stochastics. This is a seven three three stochastic. It's a pretty fast stochastic that I use. There's there's no real indication of where to jump on a trade. Certainly not in the morning. Uh, pretty pretty erratic. Uh, possibly over here with an oversold stochastic and the market, uh, a, a, a slight, uh, well, I wouldn't call this a hammer. It is a hammer, but it's not really because it's not really down. But basically, three moves up uh, and then this move down. This is a pattern that repeats itself pretty often. But nevertheless, there's no indication of uh, a, of a, a trend in the market. Slight trend. Remember, there's only four points in between each horizontal line. So eight points from the start of the day to about uh, two, two o'clock in the afternoon. But then look what happens at around 3.15. At 
with the stochastics uh, well into the oversold position, price action moves again, and this is a three minute candle, price action is dramatically to the upside. And when I say dramatically, that's, that's really a comparison of the previous candles. Look how small these candles are. Maybe a one point, one and a half point move in each three minute period. But here we have a three minute move in this three minute period, followed by another three minute move where the prices basically stayed at the top, kept going up. So this might have been an area to jump on. This would give you an indication, and especially being three, uh, three o'clock or after three o'clock on a Friday, this would be an indication of a market direction, a move for the day. And certainly it was worth a trade to the upside. And that trade would have, let's see, if you had hopped on at 4103, it would have taken you to uh, 4112, a nine point move. So that would have been the move of the day if you had spotted this relatively a uh, low risk entry point at 315. So that would be the move of the day. Now, today, Monday, April 12th, where is the market headed? Well, let's move move fast forward to where we are right now. It's just pre-market 852. The market is trending is trading at 4114, not just about where it uh, closed on Friday. And where is the market headed? Well, remember the fog of war move is a Monday morning move that generally is to the upside with no indication of the, the move being to the upside, except there's no bad news. Now, is there any bad news? Not really, except for this report, highly unlikely the Fed will raise interest rates. That is not what the Fed has been signaling for many months past. So. This could put a damper on market direction today. At least uh, I would keep my powder dry until you see a move develop. The fog of war move, it may happen, it may not. If the market heads in the uh, positive direction, uh, I, could, I could see jumping on. If it, uh, if it stalls or heads uh, south, I would get out right away. Don't reverse, just get out. Uh, and wait to see what shakes out, what develops as the market moves forward today. So remember, trade safe, keep your powder dry, and although it's called day trading, you don't have to trade every day. Find the places of the hot, of the lowest risk entries, and that's the place to jump on. Be smart, trade safe, have a great day. This is Marv Eisen, April 12th, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.